Tamara Munford has a career that takes her around the world, singing on opera stages and with orchestras. She's sung in more than 140 performances at the Met, makes her Santa Fe Opera debut this summer as Queen Gertrude in The Thirteen Child, which is a world premiere. Welcome. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so you sang in the original recording of this. I did. Uh, how, how much did you get to work with the composer and the librettists? Uh, the composer I didn't get to work with, but the librettists, Becky and David, were there uh, in the recording process through the entire thing. I mean, they heard every note. They you know, stopped to make sure that the, the words were, were clear, that the intention was clear, that I was following the din- dynamics that were there. Um, so they were, I mean, involved in, in the entire thing. Also, the, the librettists are also the owners of the record label. So, um, yeah, they were there and present the entire time. And David was going to end up conducting the vocal parts of the recording anyway, so he probably had some pretty clear ideas about what he wanted. Yeah, definitely. And, of course, they're both very close with the composer, so they know his music very well and they know his style very well. So, so they were able to you know, show that to me, too, in the work that we did. Now, you're creating a role from scratch. Uh, how much leeway do you have in creating the direction the character goes? Was there back and forth you know, about that? Um, well, I think it's sort of a... I mean, it's one of the great things about doing a premiere is that you really have no... There's, you, you don't have anything that you have to follow, any sort of traditions that you have to follow about what people think about who this character is. So you really get to do, do a lot of that yourself. And, of course... Um, Becky and David had ideas that they were able to share with me, but but I'm the one singing the part, and so a, a lot of what I bring to it, they were open to that as well. Yeah. So the Queen is really on stage a short time. Yeah. But we learn a great deal about her, about her inner self, about her hopes for her family, and then she has to go right from that to dealing with the madness of her husband. Tell me about how Reuter's music sets up and supports the emotion and the conflict in the piece. Sure. Okay. Well, I think even from just the beginning, right when you meet Queen Gertrude, she's pregnant with the 13th child. And there's a moment where she's singing about, uh, right in the opening, she's singing about her family and about these 12 sons who have been so gallant and true and how proud she is of uh, the home that she has created and the way their house endures. And then there is this sort of brooding in the orchestration. And the way the way we play it in that moment, for instance, is her husband who's becoming increasingly unstable and uh, his behavior's getting really erratic and, and he's not making any sense. He's sort of hiding under the stairs. So in this moment, I'm singing about how proud I am about my family and how how I'm hoping that this 13th child could be a girl after 12 sons, you can imagine. She might want a girl. Um, and he's the one uh, that the music is sort of t- uh, showing where he is in, in his mind as he's kind of crouched under on the stairs on the side. And so that way, while I'm singing, he's still very present in the scene, and it shows the way the madness is working on him. And then there's other places. For instance, um, there's this wonderful aria, I think, probably my favorite place in the score where I'm singing um, to my daughter and I'm telling her about these these um, shirts that I had sewed for that that I had made for her brothers and she pulls them out and there's these just beautiful chords that just sound like magic like a fairy tale you know and it's just right there as she hands me these shirts that she's you know this is the first that she's hearing about her brothers and it's just the way he uses the percussion through that moment and uh, you know, lots of places like that. When you get to the brothers a little later and they're very rowdy, there's certainly the music to match that. So, And today, of course, we work with the orchestra for the first time. So, Oh, that must all, have been a, the yeah. first time in the pit. Yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. I mean, we had a rehearsal with them in, in the room yesterday, but today was the first day on it with them in the pit with us on the stage. So, um, so it's always nice to kind of add that element. Is that a, a kind of disorienting experience when you go from piano rehearsal to then orchestra on stage with you, and then suddenly you've got that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Because, you know, of course, if you, and especially in new music where the rhythm might not be exactly what you're expecting, um, if you're just in the room and you come in a half beat early, the pianist can just catch up to where you are and everything's fine, and you half the time don't even realize that you made a mistake. Of course, with your when you're with the orchestra, 
if you come in a half feet early, there's a lot of players that would have to accommodate to somehow get back to where you are. So, I mean, of course, I don't make mistakes. So that doesn't happen to me. Yeah. Certainly not a new music. And yeah, on the other no. hand, who would know? Yeah, well, that's true. See? <laughs> yeah. So it's, there's a lot on the conductor. Of course. To, to yeah. really balance what's going on. Yeah, right. And Paul Daniel's been, been great. I mean, been right there with us as well as, you know, handling everything in the orchestra. And of course, like I said, we're new to the orchestra just today, so... We'll keep finding our groove as we go. Um, Gertrude's on stage a seemingly short time, uh, and it is a fairy tale, mm-hmm. but the relationships are very true. Do you find that they're not just fairy tale relationships? The characters oh, really ring true oh, as completely, humans? Completely, completely. And, I mean, while Gertrude dies, she's she's on for you know the entire first act, and then she does die. But the scene between Gertrude and her daughter, I think, is one of the most important of of the piece really i mean because the piece is short and there's so much action it's um there's not a lot of places that can just have the sort of expansiveness um required to sort of develop these relationships between characters i i, I guess that's not exactly true but just just in this one moment where i'm telling uh, my daughter about her brothers suddenly it feels like the score sort of slows down in that moment and it's quite it feels like quite a long scene from what we've had just because there's been so much action happening and then in that moment you know I'm at the end of my life and and so everything's just a little bit slower and I'm explaining this story to her and she's just you know um, trying to have these last moments with her mother and and this uh, relationship between Gertrude and her daughter I think is so powerful in, in, in that scene and you know it's very much while it's a fairy tale it's so much of the emotion is things that people deal with all the time and I think in in my character she has um, seen her family and she's kind of the one holding everything together and she's had to sacrifice in order to keep everybody safe and she says in this aria with her daughter that you know, she had to send away her children um, who were her joy to save them she had to send away her daughter to save her because her husband, the king, his behavior just g- kept getting more and more erratic. And he was so, you know, he was so drowning in his own madness. And then she said she had to send them away to save them and also to save him, you know. And then um, and then when he finally passes away and she's able to have her daughter back again, she she dies at, at that moment. So it's really tragic. She really she's, only has that moment to tell everything. Tell her everything, exactly. Tamara Mumford plays Queen Gertrude in the world premiere of the 13th Child, this opera, uh, this summer at the Santa Fe Opera. Thank you so much. Sure, my pleasure.